Hello friends and music lovers and welcome to a new edition of Instar Show live on Instagram. I hope you are doing great and you enjoy your summer as much as and as safe as possible just like I do. Today we land in the beautiful LA city known also as the creative capital of the world where we meet James Hyde, a fantastic and complex artist with a rich and diverse professional experience that currently we can see and appreciate in the successful Mexican series uh, Monarca which is available on Netflix. Let's give a warm welcome to James and get to know him better today here on Insta. Hey, how are you? Hi, hello James. It's a pleasure meeting you. Uh, you as well. You as well. Uh thank you for having me. I appreciate it. It's uh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for for accepting our invitation. <laughs> should I say good morning or should I say good evening? Uh, Are you a morning well, person? <laughs> no, I'm not actually. Uh I'm not a morning person. My wife is, but I'm not. But uh it's uh it's 11 o'clock. I've been yeah. up since uh I had to do a COVID test today at eight o'clock because uh, I'm on set filming a movie, so we have to be COVID tested every four days. Wow! Uh, for the guidelines, but uh, but you know what? Uh, the, the 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 I just finished Monarca season two under these COVID guidelines, and now I'm shooting a movie here in LA. And the 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 one positive note that I could give everybody is that uh, we can do it, and we are doing yeah. it. Uh, we just have to change things up a little bit, but. Uh, Everything is moving along. The, the things have changed on set, of course. You know, you have to wear a mask and, and sure. self distancing, but uh, but it's working. It's it's going, and and the things are moving. So I'm very happy about that. Well, as long as as things works out and we get to see the beautiful movies you do, and you and also your other colleagues on from 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 work, it's it's a great thing. As long as you you are safe and you still can do your job, that's. I think this That's, is our yeah. new normal, unfortunately. Well, I, I look, I think it's going to be a new normal for a while until, yeah. you know, we get a vaccine together and get this under control. But at the moment, this is the new normal where, you know, I, I always forget my mask. But <laughs> now the mask, the mask has to be part of our existence, <laughs> you know. And uh, but uh, look, like I said, it can be done. Uh, I think we my wife my yeah. wife has um about 25 masks that she's bought to kind of fit the uh the the, the what she's wearing. Uh -huh. So I you can have fun with it too, you know. Uh, <laughs> <True>. <laughs> uh but but like I said, I mean I I think moving forward I think we can do it. We are doing it and um I think it's very positive uh feedback from everybody from from production. So Well, that's a great that's great news. Mm. Mm. How did you did you spend your summer? Do you feel like you had more time for yourself, more than usual? Well, so in March, uh, I was on my way to finish Monarca season two, and of course, production got shut down. Yeah. So from March, April, May, June, July, uh, it's been much more of a. Um, I think through the COVID experience, it it, it you know it's brought our family uh, close. I mean, we we've spent every day with each other. Uh, and I think universally, I think that that was the message was we're going through this pandemic, but I think it brought families together and and uh, and it had us refocus on what's important in life. And uh, and, and, and I think that's very important that may all of us have maybe gone a little bit more internal and a little bit more spiritual and, and more family. So uh, and, and I think that's very important. I think for for the globally, the the the, the world has 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 benefited from this uh pollution levels were down and and i just think everybody had to step back and, yeah. and kind of re rethink and refocus and, and uh hopefully moving forward that that's going to be a positive thing i think i was just about to say that we we had to take a step back to really appreciate what we have and also the freedom and, and 
because basically we we get to do whatever we want and we don't pay attention most of the time of of our surroundings but now with this situation i think we 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 will become more and more attentive and appreciate what we have i i i think we must we yeah. must as a, as a world a global uh society do that i think i think it's a must Yeah. yeah. Let me just say that you you here in Romania we have a passion for for the Latin world. So okay. I'm going to ask you talking about Monarca what Yes. How did you feel as an American actor to work in a Mexican creative family? Did you learn any Spanish? Or do you I speak did. Spanish? <laughs> well, uh so the, I've been married to my wife Suling uh uh I met her in Spain, Madrid, Spain in 31 years ago and uh of course she speaks Spanish and um my Spanish has gotten better. Okay. Uh, se- season <laughs> one, season one, there was no requirement to speak Spanish. I was the only gringo in the in the show. Season two, uh th- there was more dialogue for me to speak Spanish and I really enjoyed that. It was a challenge for me, but uh y- you know, we finished that. Um but going to going to work in Mexico uh was such a gift mm-hmm. uh amazing talent amazing talent in mexico is, is i mean you know actors directors and 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 uh everybody across the board but uh they welcomed me the monarca family welcomed me uh uh into their arms and and um it was such a joyous experience for me season one, uh season two, i went back and and, and uh, season two is going to be unbelievable uh season it's going to be hard to top season one. But I think we did it, and and uh, and, and I think season two is going to be uh, amazing. Uh, but you know, Irene Azuela is is the lead, and she plays my wife. Uh, was so, is 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 a very amazing actress. Uh, Selma Hayek is the executive producer with Lemon Films. Uh, Netflix to work with Netflix was such a was such a blessing. But uh, you know, with, with with everybody inclusive, the the. the you know Osvaldo and Juan Manuel who who uh are are just great actors uh so um huge talents there and uh I was just happy to be part of a piece of a puzzle uh with the show uh but uh it was it was great and it's you know I'm still you know season three. I don't know what's going to happen in season three, but uh the first two are done and uh I think it's it's going to launch this year I can't tell you when but uh it's going it's going to be this year it's it's amazing It's yeah. nice because um we had uh, the opportunity to to talk with a lot of Spanish actresses and a lot of actresses from Mexico. I saw I saw I, I saw the I saw the uh uh episode you did. Well, Money Heist. Yeah. It is one of my favorite shows and you had an actress on from Money Heist and We uh, had yes, we had uh, Itari Tunio. Yes. And Fernando Soto. Yes, and uh so that I, I, I big <laughs> love that show. It's you know so uh i th- i think that you know like i said it 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 was great i that in in mexico the talent there's so much talent there and yeah. uh and um uh, yeah so i just finished uh a little while ago and and i just came back to la and uh so yeah it's uh it's been it's been great it's been an amazing experience i had plans to go to mexico this year uh, and to be honest i had plans to come to la then fly to mexico venezuela colombia but because of the covid i had to reschedule everything for next year but i can't wait to go there because it's i've i've heard so many stories that people say oh no it's bad it's a, it's very dangerous but some say oh my god it's amazing it's beautiful and i just want to go and see it for myself but i'm pretty well, sure it's not that dangerous as everybody mm, mm, thinks no I, i think it's instinctively anywhere you go if you go to exactly, new york city exactly. new york city you got to you know you got to just be instinctive in where to go what to do whatever but yeah. i the whole time i've been in mexico i've never seen an issue i've never had an issue uh the people are amazing uh and and you know we we were in mexico city we're in guadalajara we're in in tequila and and oh. and san miguel i want to go to tequila <laughs> sounds fun <laughs> yeah it's a uh, it's a it's a cute little town and uh you know and and uh, tequila is is historically is is known as the, the name that because yeah. of tequila so uh i went to a few distilleries there and and learned a little bit about tequila and i love tequila so uh but it, 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 yeah it's great i mean it, it's very diverse and 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 uh uh just amazing great food 
great culture, a really good place, a really, really good time. I, can, uh, I can go and, and visit the country. <laughs> yes, um, yes. The, the series, Monarca, speaks a lot of, about family ties. Mm. What are, in your opinions, the family values that we should never let fall apart despite our times? Well, look, to me, uh, family is everything. It's, it's, um, it's what gets me out of bed every day and get in my life. And uh, I've been lucky enough to have been married to my wife for 30 years. Wow. Uh, we, have a, we have a beautiful son, Moses, who's 16. Um, but, uh, you know, family is everything for me. So w when, you, when you get these family stories, um, everybody loves a family story and what happens in this family. And, and uh, of course, in Menarca, you, you, you got to see some really uh, uh, some, some power moves within the family. And, uh, but then, you know, at the end of the day, it's family. Uh, and um, it, it was fun playing this character that comes from the United States into that environment. Yeah. And it made me understand how powerful and, and really how uh, uh, family can be. And, and we've seen uh, my, uh, my wife's character, Rene, uh, um, how family so important to her that she's kind of now left traditionally what we had and now going back and just wants to take over the company and, and, uh, and, and, uh, but, you know, going through this whole thing, like we were saying earlier, I mean, you know, family it, it should be number one and, and with all of us and cherish it and, and, uh, and, and, and try to, um, uh, you know, embrace it, yeah. you know, because it's, you know, look, nothing lasts forever. We're not going to be around here forever, but you know, why we're having, I think that's what I said. COVID has kind of brought us together and in, 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 a, in a very good way, uh, and um, yeah, so, you, you know, the family stories uh, with, with Monarca is uh, it, it's you're going to see some really great stuff in season two based on all of that. So power struggle within, you know, with, within that. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think family stories are very important and they, I think they tell it very well. I'm excited to see the season two. Yeah. Let me just say congratulations because you have a, a very impressive and very beautiful career. Thank you. Very, uh, very, a very uh, interesting career, if you want to say that. Uh, interesting. Why would you say yeah. that? Well, I don't think it's very traditional that, you know, <laughs> I'd start off in, in, in a young guy from Ohio, small town, and join the military when I was 17 years old. Uh, I get out of the military and I start, uh, um, I start modeling uh, in Hawaii, and then I went to Australia. I lived all over the world, London, and... and uh, yeah, uh, and then I got into some music with Dead or Alive, um, and toured with them two tours, uh, which was an amazing experience. One that I'll never forget. Uh, Pete Burns was such a, a generous, smart uh, icon, an original. There was never going to be another one, uh, Pete Burns. Uh, and the way he treated us and treated me as a person was was. Uh, just gracious and he was very funny and, and such a great person to be around very quick uh the, the quickest witted person that i've ever been around by maybe boy george was 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 probably up there but um and that experience took me all over it was a world tour we went to the united states and did japan and um you know a model modeling in london um uh, bruno who is the uh, Dancing with the Stars judge, uh, Taniolia, yes. He was the one who brought us in. It was the first choreographer for Rip It Up. Nice. And yeah, and then, uh, well, he worked out for a little bit and then they, they, they let him go and, and, and somebody else came in and, and, and did. Because, you know, you got to remember Adam Perry uh, and I were just guys. We were not professional dancers. Mm -hmm. Probably we can see in Rip It Up. But the only thing that we wanted to do was make it more of a... Uh, a uh, a uh, a sixty minute uh, aerobic whatever you want to call it, just movement and 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 originally we were only supposed to be in like two or three songs uh, coming in and out and we got along with Pete so well that it was just like look we can we can make this happen where we can just do this 
And the first tour, the first tour, the first show we ever did was Budokan in, in Japan. It was like, I don't know, 27,000 people. And wow. I never once got my breath because I was so, you know, amped up. And, and uh, <laughs> uh, but it was a tremendous experience. Um, and then from that, uh, wanted to do my own music. So I got into, I actually performed one of the shows in, uh, in Japan that they let me have my own song. And then I went around and started modeling and, and Versace, I uh, started modeling with Versace for, for three years and, and uh, I was performing at their big events, doing my own stuff, kind of hip hop music. Mm -hmm. And then there's just natural progression. I, I wanted to do acting and sort of got into acting and, and um, I've been doing it ever since like 1992, I think, you, you know, so. But it's been an interesting journey. It's, you know, and, and I always tell people out there who are in, who are acting or want to get into acting or whatever, you know, you just got to be ready for a journey. It's our own journey. You know, I tell my son who's 16, you, you, this is your own journey. This is my journey. And it's just been one of those um, colorful careers. And I've, I've totally enjoyed it. And I'm still going, uh, probably stronger now than 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 ever so it's uh you have to be patient you have to go through the, the tough times and if you stay in it you you're you're gonna you know you're gonna be if blessed I see, so. the results are gonna be always great because you know you work your ass off for what you want yes do. yes and uh, i i always tell my friends that i want to be uh a next jimmy Fallon whatever just the, just the next jimmy so i'm doing all yeah. i can and my best to do it <laughs> well listen jim carrey uh talks about manifestation and yeah. he, uh and if you have this ability and you have this and you, and you are, are putting it out there in the universe right now i'm telling you uh you, you're gonna do it yeah so next time, if you james you are going to be invited at my late, late, late night show. <laughs> uh, that, that, I'll, I'll, I'll say yes in, in, in a heartbeat. You're doing a really good job, by the way. You're doing a Thank really you. good job. Yep. Thank you so much. At the beginning, yeah. I, I must say, I was very uh, shy, not shy, but excited, scared to talk to people on, mm -hmm. the, on the live. Because, yep. you know, sometimes I, I, I speak with huge personalities, huge actors, loved actors. And it's weird because I'm also a fan and I have to be professional and not show them, oh my God, oh my God, it's you. you know, right, right. It's together. And it's very hard. <laughs> well, I, I think that's where you, the stimulation of what you want to do is you're, you, you love the, the arts, you love people in the entertainment world. And that's, that's the, the joining part of it. And, uh, and, and I still think, I, you know, uh, Jimmy Fallon is still kind of one of those guys that's seen, has been with everybody. But I think there's some guests that come on a show and he's yeah. like, you know, he gets a little nervous, of course, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's um, you know, like you said, you're, you're doing it now and, and it's just going to get bigger and bigger. And, and uh, like I said, we're going to be on your, your late night show uh, coming up. <laughs> so, so I'm ready. Hopefully. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. I was saying that you have a very impressive career and I wanted to say that because I wanted to ask you, what would you say to yourself? What would you do? What advice would you give to yourself if you were called today, let's say tomorrow, at a casting for your first time with the uh -huh. experience of today? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it, you know, it, it's, it's all, of our, all of our lives we, we would say, if I, if I knew now what I uh, could program it back to what I uh, you know, just starting off. Uh, I just think that in life, you have to live, you have to go through things and you have to experience life. Unfortunately, we, it's, we, it's impossible for us to go back and take what we've learned back. But, um, you know, in, in, in the acting world, I think that, um, at the very beginning, I think I've, I would have not taken my first job, uh, for an NBC show. I don't think I was ready, uh, but as a daytime television show, that's where you kind of, you, you, you learn. It's kind of on the job training. So that wasn't a mistake, but, you know, acting is something you really have to, you have to commit a hundred percent and you have to study all the time. There, you know, even when you're taking breaks, you still have to work that craft. 
and there's many types. So, you know, there's there's stage work, there's there's uh, Broadway, there's uh, you know acting in movies and television. Uh, uh, and I think that back when I first started, it was kind of a, a you were a daytime star, you were a, a movie star, you were you're a musician, whatever. I think that's all. It, it, everybody's doing crossing over now so there's not really that anymore i mean tom cruise is still like a movie star brad pitt is a movie star but yeah i think everybody else you know music i think musicians want to be actors actors want to be musicians and uh uh so um but you know just and the other thing i would say is just be ready there's going to be great times i've had i've had a great career i've had some great steady work for 10 years 12 15 years but in reality, there's, you're going to go through some, some tough times. Uh, and you have to, then you're going to start second guessing yourself. Is it me? What's going on? Well, sometimes it's just a movement that, you, you know, uh, I was on a show for 10 years and it's, it was going to take a while for me to kind of reinvent myself. Just be ready for those moments. Uh, save your money uh, and, and be ready for those rainy days because ultimately with any career, you're going to hit you're going to hit some bumps in the road um but just you know um like you like i was saying before perseverance um persistence uh and you got to you got to really be hungry and and, and you got to create your own stuff um and and not rely necessarily on everyone's going to knock on the door you got to go out and, and and make shake hands and ask what they're doing what's going on can we can we form a project? Uh, and I did James Hyde Stills a show a few years ago uh, where we, Mike, Mike Caruso and I, executive producer, we, we put it together. And so those are the type of things that you must continually do. Just look for things to be creative and, and uh, that's the key. And it's so easy. That's, that's so great advice. It's so easy to do it today because we are all digitally connected. You just, send a message and it goes across on the other world or ha parts of the world, you know, it's just like, right. hi James, do you want to do an interview with me? Yes, yes. of course, that would be nice. And here we are, you know, it's, right. it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. Uh, and there's so many platforms like, you know, I want to yeah. create a podcast now, uh, which I think is, is very, uh, very good thing. And it, cause I have time, I, you know, we're out of the office. I can, I can do that. Uh, uh, my son's very active acting, so we have we created an office space where we can create and tape. But now it's there's no auditions; we have to put ourselves on self tape. Uh, so um, that's 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 great, and uh, and um, so yeah, so you know it's just keeping busy and 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 and, and staying uh, um, creatively busy. Creatively busy. Yes. <laughs> what is uh, still today the most challenging thing for you as a as an actor um i you know the, the challenging thing for all of us is we always say just put us in the room and let us do our thing it's uh there's so much competition uh when you move into a different age bracket like now i'm in into my 50s and, and i'm i'm with guys that have been around for a while so uh the, the challenging thing is to stay fresh, stay mm -hmm. uh, um, relevant yes. uh, and, and try to, like, like I'm saying, when there's times when you're not booking, just try to create your own projects. And, and those are the times where you look at your Rolodex and start calling friends of yours who have become producers or directors and, hey, man, I'm, I'm here. Uh, let's work together. So just, just trying to stay positive uh, at all times because the world can really – you know, when things aren't going well, you can start second guessing yourself and doubting yourself. And we can't do that. You have to stay, um, always try to stay as positive as possible. Hmm. What, uh, what are the things that motivates you to do and be the best at what you do? My I family. Think. Your family. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also pride, you know, <laughs> and, and wanting to do well. I think that if I'm going to do a role, I really want to sink my heart into it and, and give it everything I've got. That's the way I've always been with anything. You know, I've always wanted to uh, just do a hundred percent and, 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 uh, and have respect for the arts and, 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 and not take it lightly. Uh, 
And that's what I'm trying to instill in my son is, is you know, we, 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 you got to work hard. There's, no, there's nothing that you can do other than hard work. Uh, there's, no, there's, no, there's no shortcuts. I tell my son all the time, you know, I wish I could give you a short, shortcut. There is none. None. Um, so, uh, yeah. So that's, that's basically the formula is, is you just got to gotta work, work your ass off. Yeah. I, it's funny because I always tell my friends, besides doing the, the Insta show here and working with, uh, on the magazine with my, with my friend Andrea, uh, I also have an agency for marketing and business development, which I, that's my daily job. And it's always funny because my friends always see me traveling, going out and about, and, you know, but I always tell them, listen, it's not that easy. I'm not traveling for fun. I'm just traveling for work. You should wake right. up at seven in the morning and go to a meeting and then fly back in. That's hard. It's not easy. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's the thing that everybody thinks that, you know, we're living this world and we're, yeah. we're you know, uh, oh, it's just wonderful and beautiful. Uh, I'm taking you on a walk with me because uh, I have to let somebody in my my place. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, everybody thinks it's place. easy. It's easy. And it's, uh, you know, we've we've got this great life. And uh, uh, but, you know, we we you know, we have to work. Um, sorry about that. No worries. I apologize. Uh, yeah. So, you know, we, it's, it's work. We have to wake up every day and we have to, um, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I have my wife and my son, I have to, this is my life. This is how I make my money. Uh, so, um, but you know, like I said, it's, we have to be the best, best version of ourselves every day. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> can't, you can't let up, yeah. uh, you know, because those are the moments that may pass you by and you're never going to get it back again. So you just have to stay in it uh, at all times. And, uh, I, you know, look, I'm, I'm, I'm in my 50s now, and I think that that, that, uh, that life experience for me right now is helping me. Mm-hmm. Uh, to stay in this, stay in it. And, and now mentally I'm better. Whereas before, if you, you know, uh, but I think it's just those, those, my life experiences really kind of helped me at this moment. But uh, I've always been a positive person. Always. I wake up you every day, you know? Fun. Yeah. And, and, and like you said, you have to be, you have to be or else you, the world will just, you'll, you'll get crushed. Telling my son who's 16 and wants to be an actor, uh, you know, you got to have tough skin. Yeah. Uh, if you don't, then this is not the business for you. Hmm. Talking about acting, what type of movie would you like to be part of if you had now in front of you a bunch of scripts from different genres? Uh, like I, I think it would be fun to play in one of these Marvel movies. <laughs> um, it would be a blast. I mean, I would love to do a movie with Brad Pitt. Can I just say, uh, I, 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 if you want to play in a Marvel, I don't know if it's from Marvel, but I think I, I can see you play Aquaman. Yeah. I, yeah. I think I lost you. You're back. <laughs> sorry about that. Yes, sorry about that. I've, I've got something. That, um, sorry, I had to open up the door. Uh, <laughs> I have a delivery coming. Uh, so, yes, I think that um, uh, Aquaman, uh, any of them, I mean, uh, you know, Iron Man was, was, a, uh, was, was a great role. I think Robert Downey Jr. does such a great job. I love him. Uh, so yeah, something like that. And I would love to, I mean, if, if in my lifetime work with Martin Scorsese, I know that's a huge thing, but I mean, he's such a, I mean, iconic, uh, director, uh, and, 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 you know, one of my favorite actors is, you know, Tom Cruise. I love Tom Cruise. I love Brad Pitt. I love all those, all those guys to to be able to, to share the screen with those guys would be a dream come true. But, um, but, you know, television, it, television is king right now. So, you know, uh, the favorite series I have right now, uh, Yellowstone, mm-hmm. is with Kevin Costner, such a great series. Very well done. Ozark. Um, Ozark, yeah. Uh, I love uh, Schitt's Creek was one of my f- 
ultimate favorites. I love it. So there's some great television right now. I mean, amazing television. So, um, you know, it, it, it's, there's a lot going on with Amazon, Netflix, uh, a, a lot of things that's, that's out there. So, um, and it's really good. There's some really good television right now that's streaming. Um, so it's very exciting. It's a, it's a great time to be right now. The only thing, as we were saying earlier, is once, once uh, I think everyone's understanding that, you know, under the guidelines, we can do it. We can, yeah. we can do these projects. Um, and, and, and so I think it's a very good time to be in this business. I really do. Uh, you were saying earlier that you, you really had a great time when you were dancing and traveling around with. Uh, with oh my God. Uh, it was, <laughs> it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was an amazing time to be, uh, doing that because yeah. the first time I joined was, uh, I think it was 87. Wow. It was my first tour. It was a, we did it all, all over the United States and then we did uh, um, all over Japan. And then the second tour we did, uh, um, uh, we only did Japan. Uh, and that's when we did the Tokyo Dome, uh, which is um, uh, 60,000 people. Uh, yeah, so, um, so it, it, yeah, it, it, was, it was amazing. Uh, so, um, you know, I, but, I, you know, in between that, I was, uh, you, you know, modeling. I started off in uh, Hawaii, then I moved to Australia, and then I moved to London, and I based myself in London, you know, of course, um, you know, did, uh, you know, dipped in Paris and Germany and Spain, where I met my wife in Madrid, and, uh, and I met her walking down the street in Madrid, said hello, she wasn't. She didn't, I, I thought she didn't like me, but evidently she wasn't <laughs> understanding what I was saying. And then we met a year later in Milano, uh, and we've been together ever since. So, wow. <laughs> she's she's an amazing person. Su Ling, I love you. Mwah, I think she's watching right now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and I, I got to say one thing. Uh, happy birthday to my manager, Laura Palace, who's going to be 60 on happy Saturday. Birthday. So. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you, what type of dance would you, would best describe your life or your emotion at the moment? Oh, wow. Um, free form, free form <laughs> dancing, where it's just a, a little bit of everything. <laughs> uh, because I don't think that I've lived, I've anything traditional. It's just been um, instincts. I think a lot of instincts has is, is brought me to a lot of places and projects and things that I do in my life. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, nothing structured uh, is, but more of a free form of dancing and, and maybe a little bit of everything. Uh, that's how I would describe it because uh, it's, it's been that kind of a journey for me and still is. So, yeah, I would say that. <laughs> I was saying earlier that I... I... I want to be a next Jimmy so who knows I always think that in the future I will move to to LA and now I might know someone who can help me settle in I think you know him too it, it's his name is James <laughs> oh James <laughs> you are James yeah I know you, you yeah. do, you're a realtor as well I do yeah I got yeah. my uh about now, a few years you, why did you decide to, to become one well, try well I, I think that uh you know, when, when sometimes when we have free time, it's, it's something, how can we, what, what can we do to do maybe a side project or whatever? Mm -hmm. And I think that I wanted to understand the real estate market here. I wanted to, um, you know, if you're going to buy and sell, if I have my license, I'm going to save a lot of money. Uh, but I, I did it in, in, the, uh, and I haven't really been able to like be a realtor just cause I haven't, I just haven't any time, but I do have my license. So, um, I, it's, it's a great world to, to, to understand and know. I mean, uh, and I, you know, keep my pulse of, of what's happening with the market. Uh, it seems to be a very robust market still. The, the interest rates are low. So, um, it, 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 you know, I've always wanted to, you know, um, be in that world. So, you know, I did, I, 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 I took the course. I got my 
uh, license and uh, and uh, and I have it. So uh, and, that's uh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's just like you said earlier. If you want to do something, just do it. Keep always busy, always be creative, busy. And, and I think you're doing right. that just fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, you know, it's, it's like I said, I mean, what, what, what I've learned is that when you're working, of course you're working, you, you, yeah. you, you know, um, I just finished four days in a row finishing at midnight, 1230. And I had to wake up this morning, go get my COVID test done. So it's been very busy, but you know what? I love it. Yeah. I love being busy and, 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 and working and, and, and whatever. Now when you're, when you're not, it's, you know, what am I going to do? Hey, let's, I'll get my real estate license or uh, I'll create a podcast or whatever. But those are the type of things that all of us need to uh, do and continually do um, moving forward. Yeah. I'll tell you a secret. I always, when I go on vacation, after three days of not doing anything, I, got, I get so bored and I take my laptop out and I start working, <laughs> which right. is so bad. <laughs> Well, it's it's in you. It's innate. Yes, I can't you, that's, do it. That I, is, I'm, I'm yeah. so bored when I don't do nothing. I just have to do something. And I was right. now, I came back from Greece. I stayed there for four days. And I was like, I'm not going to take my laptop. I'm just going to go backpack. And that's it. Because so I'm just going to stay on the beach all day, all the whole four days. And on the second day, I was like, hmm, but I got to check my emails. But I got to do that. But I, I remember <laughs> so many things that I had to do. And when I was home, I was doing nothing. <laughs> right, right. Well, it's 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 those things that look. We're all guilty. I mean, I, yeah. I think that uh, I just went to Utah, uh, and we went to Moab, and uh, there was no Wi-Fi, so it kind of forces you to uh, not do that. But I mean, er everywhere we go, I mean, our phones are our life now. So you know, you, you we can check the news, we can yeah. check the weather. Everything is just in this this thing. So. It's it's hard to decompress, especially when you're into that 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 movement that yeah. you are. You're very creative, and you're you, you know you just want to keep it going. So I'm trying uh, to use my phone only when I have to, because I'm always on the phone, and I always have to work. And now I have my second phone, which I'm trying to keep it at home just for work. <laughs> like when I'm yes. in the office, I use that phone. When I'm out, <laughs> I'm just using that this phone. <laughs> Right, but I can't do it. It's, I'm always on the phone because I always have to check emails, answers, do that, do that. And it's annoying yeah, it's, sometimes. It, it is, but that's the world we live in right now. So, you know, it, that, that's your, it. That's uh, it. Your main goal for your future and in personal and professional life. My my personal goal is to raise my son, who's 16, get him off, and hopefully he'll. Uh, you know, uh, he's got a solid foundation now, hopefully from us and, and, mm -hmm. and get him off and to college and for him to, you know, have a successful career. That's very important for me. Um, and also to, you know, stay busy in this business. I would love to keep working for another 15 years. Um, and, you know, along the way with my wife, try to formulate a, uh, we, you know, we love children and, and love to give. So maybe we'll formulate a foundation for us to, uh, to, to work it together in the future. But, um, you know, the, the first thing in life that we all have to remember is health is number one. Yeah. Because I could have $10 million. If I don't have health, I've got nothing. True. Health, family, if you, those are the two most important things in my life right now. So uh, family first, health. You know, and, and just trying to live and, and uh, uh, you know, a good quality life. Um, like I said, we're not going to be here forever. So you got to kind of make the best of it. Unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jake, yeah, I, I mean, those, those are things. Question. Yes. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, 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 no problem. Go ahead. Okay. I have my last question for you. Yes. And it's a question that I always ask to everybody because I'm curious. Mm -hmm. And it's what message has James Hyde from the present and wants to share to James Hyde from the future? Enjoy life. Uh, just try to, because we, we, we get so caught up in, within our lives and we, we try to live so fast and mm -hmm. um, it's just try to slow down and enjoy life and, and enjoy, try to forget about yesterday 
uh, don't worry about tomorrow. Live for today. Live in, live in the present. I know it's hard. I know I even try to, to do that. I'm guilty of not doing that. Uh, but just try to live, live in the moment, man, and just try to enjoy every, uh, every day. Try to, you know, be that person that's, that's, that's present in the moment. And if, we, if you can do that, I think that you're, you're really going to uh, uh, get more focus within yourself and, 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 and not think about, oh, shit, I got to do this tomorrow or, oh, what happened yesterday? Uh, that we, we can't do that. So just live in the moment as best you can and uh, just appreciate what you have. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's – uh, you know, we're going through some crazy times right now, but it's, it's, um, we're going to get through it. We always have as, as a society. And hopefully the, the only thing that we can do is, is I was trying to tell my son through all of the stuff that's happening here in America, we just have to be better people. Yeah. You know, that's it. We just have to do better. And if we do that, then we're going to be just fine. I'll take your advice as well. <laughs> From the future days, I'll take your advice. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, man. Thank you so um, much, James, for, for joining me. Uh, thank you so much for having me. You. It was a pleasure meeting you as well. I'll, and I'll see you. you. I'll see you on your next TV show. Sure, I will. You know, <laughs> I promise you, you are going to be my first guest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Blessings you. to you, brother. Blessings. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you again, James, for joining me today here on Insta Show. Also, thank you to all of you, our followers, friends, family, because we are a big family here on Insta Show. Thank you for joining today as well. I am Claudio, and I wish you have a great evening, night, morning, depends on where you are. And I promise you, I will see you the next time, just as happy as today. <laughs>